In this video, I'm going to show you how to estimate a model with an autoregressive error. An example of the sort of model we might want to estimate is shown on this slide. The equation is a Keynesian consumption function which has an error which follows an autoregressive process of order 1. This can be written in the form shown below. To estimate this form of the equation, we need to use a nonlinear least squares estimator to allow for the fact that there is a nonlinear restriction between the parameters of the model. To estimate the model, we type in the command ARLS for autoregressive least squares and then list the variables of the model, in this case LC and LYD. Note that we don't need to put in a constant because that is included automatically. Click on OK and we are prompted to enter the order of the autoregressive process. At the moment there are only two choices here, either a first order autoregressive process or a second order autoregressive process. So I'm going to enter the, the number 1 for a first order process and click on OK and it produces the regression results shown here. The re interesting results for us are the slope coefficient 0.97 and the coefficient on the autoregressive error, which in this case is 0.87. As an alternative, we could have tried an autoregressive process of order 2. To do that, we type in ARLS, again with, followed by the names of the variables LC and LYD, click on OK, and when we're prompted for the order of the autoregressive process, we enter 2. The algorithm here is actually quite slow because it uses a method called the steepest descent method but there is a positive to this because it's very robust to the choice of initial values in the search procedure which means that we generally get the right results. 